going on ladies and gents? Cerebro here for T3G and we're back with another review. I know we've had a lot of uh, talks and, and vlogs but we're back with another review. Uh, I've had some, some hardware issues. My computer went down. If you've watched the vlogs, you know. Um, and today we're going to go ahead and review something that's been a long time coming. I've been using it for a while and I definitely have a really good idea of what's going on and, and, and how good a tablet this is. Uh, the Asus Mimo Pad 8. Um, and of course we don't do unboxings. So this is it. This is actually it in a eBay case. Uh, so we'll pop this out real quick and uh, get right into it. Alright. Get this popped out. Now this was a $16, I think $12 or $16 case from eBay. It is a uh, finite, or I'm sorry, Finti, Finti model. And um, they come in several colors. Uh, I think you guys saw uh, my fiance uh, for her Samsung has the purple version um, and it sits a little differently because she doesn't have the memory card slot on the side her this side is a little more firm uh, so this is a little more loose than I like it but otherwise it serves as a pretty good case uh, now to the tablet itself this bad boy has uh, very minimal outside features uh, you've got your power your volume rocker headphone power microphone obviously and your micro SD card slot. The charger is kind of flipped the other way, which is a little bit useful uh, because then you can still kind of use it. Um, I don't know, I feel that if you, I don't know, you shouldn't really use it on a charger, I hate to say it, uh, but it, it's nice because it's on the top, so you can still use it if it is plugged in because you can, you'll hold it this way, so it's plugged in up this way, which is good, I guess, but again, I don't recommend using it while it's plugged in. Any, any device, I don't recommend using it while it's plugged in. Pretty much, that's it. Your speakers are on the back here. Um, see the line here? And uh, they're pretty good. Um, nothing to really write home about. I would definitely recommend getting some headphones or a Bluetooth headset, or I'm sorry, Bluetooth speaker. Um, and uh, it does have the Intel processor, which is indicated on the back, of course, because it always has to be. And it is 32 degrees outside, so it is just freezing. <laughs> and, uh... Overall, this is a good tablet. And I'll say that I'll say that right up front. Overall, this is a good tablet. There's a lot of good features about it, um, but it does get pretty slow after a while. Um, that's kind of going to be. I'm going to say that right off the bat. So, it's a good tablet. It's a good value. I think I got it for one one thirty. I think the original price was one sixty. Um, it's probably sitting at about a hundred bucks anywhere you can get it nowadays. Uh, I got it probably about six to eight months ago. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it's a pretty snappy device. I mean, it loads stuff pretty quickly. Uh, Asus is ridiculous with their updates, so they do a lot of updates on this thing. Uh, tons of changes have happened since I've gotten this device. Um, this system right here, which is an auto organization, was not there when I first got it. Uh, so this this was implemented probably about two months ago uh, and it's great because then I don't have to do it myself it's one of those one of those things that you didn't think you'd need until it happened and then you're like man that was super easy and I, I wish everything did it <laughs> but um, the on the flip side of that however is the incessant Asus apps uh, so there is Asus apps in pretty much every aspect of this device so omelet chat is something they install uh, we've got uh, microfilm which is theirs Pretty much in everything here. So, me obviously, you got your music app. Um, pretty much in every category, just about. Let's see, productivity. So, this is all like share link. What's next is a pretty good feature. Uh, that's this guy right here. Uh, it tells you, uh, you well, actually, this is not what's next. I turned that off. <laughs> Uh, but it'll tell you if you have calendar at uh, calendar events going on it'll actually tell you what's going on uh, you know what's your next thing that's that's coming up so it's pretty cool as far as apps go uh, I definitely need headphones with this thing it unless you are in a small room uh, you cannot watch Netflix on this without um, without speakers um, I mean without headphones or a speaker connection yeah you know, I usually hook it up to the Bluetooth speaker and do it that way um, Coolest feature on this is that it does have the KitKat. That's actually why I chose this. Uh, it came with KitKat. It came with, so it came with the new menus up here, the new uh, pull downs, um, which was my favorite thing because that was kind of me getting a device that was almost as good as my fiance's. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so we've got uh, pretty much all the stuff that you expect out of the KitKat launcher or the KitKat notification bar. Um, all the stuff is up here. What I found out by accident was this icon right here. And that actually lets you create a secondary account. And with that, uh, I was able to put my own account on here. So I had the T3G account on here. I had my own personal account on here, which slowed it down like molasses. It became pretty much unusable. Uh, anything you opened, the screen pretty much cleared out. It had to wait about 40 to 40 seconds to a minute to, to reload everything. It was kind of ridiculous. So while it is a cool feature, I think it definitely needs a quad core processor, maybe some more RAM. Uh, now, I don't remember the specs offhand, but let me grab the box to cheat. On the box here, we've got, uh, it's got the Intel uh, Bay Trail processor. Uh, it has the uh, one gig of RAM, and it's got the two front five meg rear camera. Um, throw that away again. And the nice thing about it is, uh, the processor is pretty good overall. I have played games on this. Uh, I have I've done video. I have I even took took it for a spin with some video editing um, That automatically did slow it down, but it still was usable uh, But otherwise your day-to-day -day stuff super easy to use you know, your YouTube that kind of stuff um, See this is kind of the delay I'm talking about after a while it does get slow Um and there we go. <laughs> the, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna censor right here. Give me a censor bar. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the 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 speed is decent overall. Um, let's see here, if we go into the settings, so that's pretty quick once it's loaded. So if we clear this and go into the settings, you see there's a bit of a delay there. Uh, that was actually better than earlier when I looked it up, uh, when I pulled it up earlier. So, and there's a bunch of stuff here that, again, ASUS puts a lot of information on on these devices. You have a lot of uh, a lot of apps. So you've got your easy mode, which is kind of probably, let's say, an homage to Samsung. So this runs the ASUS Zen UI. That's their launcher. Uh, they have these kind of more flatter icons. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. Uh, kind of flatter icons. Uh, I really like them. They look really nice. I'm trying to see if I can pull up a little more of their apps um, So yeah, you've got quite a, I mean a little more flatter uh, still has a, a nice look to them They've got some shading uh, that makes it look kind of like it's a 2d kind of like a paper You know creation where it's you know, it's got verticality, but not dimension to it per se um, which I really like. Now, the, the biggest thing that I really enjoy on this is the keyboard. The keyboard is uh, very good. Let's see if I can pull this up here for you guys. Now, it's got your, your standard layout, nothing really special about that, but the feature of it that I really like is the fact that you don't have to, you've got your modifiers, you know, your shift, your symbol, symbol keys down here. You don't actually have to use those. You can swipe up or down to get access to those. So if I want to type in, you know, uh, my, you know, let's say we type in Cerebro, right? So, uh, get that right? Yeah, closer. <laughs> but, if I want to type it in with a capital letter, swipe up and I get the capital C. Right? Capital C. And then if I have letters that are, that have, you know, you have letters that are going to be capital and they have a symbol on them, up for the capital letter, down for the symbol. So it's really nice because then you type faster. So it helps out a lot when you're typing and it helps out. It just makes everything kind of easier and smoother. It's quick enough. Um, I would definitely pick it up if, you know, especially if, if you're picking it up under 120 bucks, you know, at, at 100 bucks, this is a steal. This is a great device. Um, I'm sure it's out there for 100 bucks. If you need something to browse, if you need something to play some games here and there, check your email, watch some YouTube, watch some Netflix. This is definitely a good device. I would give it, uh, I, I would give it a solid, uh, solid three guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would say if you have the chance, pick it up. Um, if you're looking for something affordable, that is definitely usable and, 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 and something that is reliable. Uh, you know, this thing has never really crashed on me. It's never really given me any problems per se. The battery's gotten 
a little worse over time, uh, but you pretty much can still get like a solid two, three days standby um, and several hours of usage. I mean, I, I have never, I've never used it long enough to the point of, you know, it going dead. So that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, overall, a good tablet. Nothing really spectacular about it, but something that you could definitely get and, you know, use it to what it's supposed to do, you know? I don't think you're gonna be doing some high-end stuff on it, but I don't think it's underpowered at all. Uh, I definitely think it's, I'd give it a solid C if I was grading it, you know? It, it's, a, it's a good average tablet. I definitely say this is a buy. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know below. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out t3gtech.com. We're coming to the end of January, so make sure you get in on the contest on the MSI 970 video here. And uh, if you have uh, any questions on this, if you have any comments on this, if you had a different experience with the, uh, the Mimos, I know there's an HD version of this, so uh, I, that might be a little bit better, uh, but I, this is the one I picked up, and uh, so far I've enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, no plans of getting rid of it, so I think this is a good buy. Um, that's pretty much it. Sorry, bro. Signing off.